Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I just got done recording a vlog for Monday and now I am ready to do, I almost pressed on random there from Force of Habit. We're ready to do our fourth Eden run, right? One loss, two wins. Let's see what we start with today. Two Spirit Hearts, the Coat Hanger obviously, the Flush, or Flusher or whatever it's called, and a Pill. The Pill being Bad Trip. This might be the quickest restart I've ever done, however we will see the seed even though I might just die. ET0N, that's not a no, it's a zero. RDGY. Our stats are actually really good, so that bad trip sucks. <laughs> Alright, just pretend like you're an even more dangerous Judas and things will go swimmingly, I'm sure. Oh dear. So, and it's cellar, but let's not dwell on that. And I start with no consumables. So even if I find a tinted rock, I still need an out. Oh my god, I think we're just going to die. So don't get attached to this seed. <laughs> And also, if you play the first seed, don't use the pill! Whew. Oh, I could just turn everything to poo. I wasn't thinking. Although, yeah, I think this this is going to end nice and quick. Good! I wanted a better item than the... Oh, for God's sake. I want a better item than the flush anyway. I don't need the flush. Maybe. If you drop some HP, I would love you forever, though. Screw you. That was my chance of redemption right there, if he dropped Lard or less than three. Never mind! Uh oh. Yeah, look at the size of our tiers. It's given us low HP because it's given us such good other stats. Fire rate, damage, range, they're all really good. I don't want to die, but it's gonna happen. Unless I get a bomb and a tinted rock real quick, or I kill what is most likely the haunt without getting hit. We haven't found our item room either, have we? Will I live that long? I don't think this room will kill me. I could be wrong. Oh, do you drop? No, you'll drop allied flies. Also, because you're not aggroed, I can't hit you. Oi! Well, the allied flies help. They're big, so they'll do damage. Where is the item room at? Oh, God. This room could probably just kill me. Yes, I welcome the sweet embrace of death rather than having to deal with this BS room. Although, if I killed that champion up the top there, it would explode and take the other one with it, I think. Spiders, man. Leave me alone! Where did that big one come from? Is the champion spawning? Ugh. Just, just end me. I don't want to let myself get killed, but at the same time, oof, I wouldn't care if it happened early. I don't want to get down like one whole floor and then die. That would just be irritating as hell. One spare heart. That's all I need. Oh, don't die to little dingles or whatever the hell these are called. Dips, I think, is the official name. Dips of shit. <laughs> Could we get an HP item in our item room? Yeah, it's possible. Spirit heart? No, just a lot of money. That's good, but... Alright, well that's speed and fire, right? That's a good item. I don't want to lose this run anymore. I'm kind of happy with it. I suppose I have to shoot the fire in case it gives me a spirit heart. Boss will probably be this way. Oh, this is unfair. How am I supposed to get in there to get him? Alright, alright, it's working. Do you fire a bullet when you die? And if so, why? <laughs> you do not. Right, you fire bullets when you die, though. I guess we'll try and kill the boss without getting hit then. Oh, wait. I can use that bomb to generate another bomb, but there hasn't been a tinted rock. Nah. I mean, I'll still do this. We just despawn those spiders. Could the secret room... Yeah, the secret room might be here. So if I kind of put it there, we'll get the bomb back anyway. Alright, whatever. Where would the secret room be? If not there. It could be here. Alright, well hang on, before I use another bomb on those bazzies. Alright, we could get an all stats up here. This is the hardest I have ever had to work on the first floor ever. Puberty. Range up. Oh, no more bombs. Damn. Alright, well let's try and kill the first boss if it's the hunt we lose. If it's Pin, he might get lucky and get a shot off on me. Even if I win and no HP drops, that's almost as bad. It's the Widow. That's... I sometimes get clipped by the Widow and I can't really help it. Hopefully with superior damage and fire rate though, she'll die before it's a problem, maybe? 
Oh god, I'm playing dead. I'm playing dead. Get out of there, man. Alright, the widow's dead. Drop HP or else. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, we'll try and do the... Oh. Well, at least it was a room I cleared. Sure, I'll try and do the whole game without getting hit again. Uh, right, it's basement at least, but I can't see a damn thing. No bombs, no tinted rocks. Oh, I can just... Yeah, I'll turn you to poo. No keys either! Urgh. Oh, this could be the end right here. What shape shall my end take? Will it be a graceful death or a pathetic one? I'm trying. I really am trying to hold on. We've had everything else go well for us apart from HP and the starting space bar I am. <clears throat> no, sorry, and consumables outside of money. Bombs have been pretty bad. I had to work for the bombs I got on the last floor. I also hate having to extinguish. Because it keeps the room so bright and I can actually see what I'm doing. Ugh. Right, I'm, I might just walk into the spikes when I go back that way, you realise. Can this pay out with spirit hearts? No, but it can pay out with keys. Well, it can, but I think you have to have an item that influences it. Such as the mitre. Rel no, not the rel. The mitre. That was a good example. Stick with that. I'm playing this to try and get a key or a bomb. That's what I'm going for. I'm willing to go down to 7 cents. Because I want to have enough to buy a key. Uh, buy a spirit heart if I do get into the shop. Oops, I played one more by accident. That didn't pay at once. I take it my luck stat is terrible as well? Yep. That explains the lack of anything. <sighs> Including enemies in that room, apparently. Uh, do I just fight the boss since I'm here? I guess so. Ah, oh, it's the dingle without any protection as well. I don't want to lose the dingle! Oh, he maybe made protection. Use it to my advantage. I'm going to spit. I've got superior range, like, by a pretty significant margin. Oh, I didn't mean to take out the... Kill your children. It's firing at me. That's charging. I got stuck in the poop a little bit there. Now give me HP. Like proper HP, I mean. Son of a bitch, that gives you a black heart though, right? It doesn't! Wait, it doesn't? Oh. Oh! Screw you, game! I make my own luck. Alright, so now we've got nine lives and we have good HP. Well, relatively speaking. For this part of the game, yeah, actually. Not even relatively speaking, just for this part of the game. Good HP. We need to do something about our luck stat, though, because otherwise I'm going to die anyway, because we won't get any keys or bombs or anything else. That's, uh, kicking the teeth. There's a tenant rock in here. I can just about make it out in the very top right. How am I supposed to do this? Oi! Oi! Oh, for goodness sake. They're not aggroing! Come on! That didn't catch the tent rock. Well, screw you. I make my own luck. Give me a key. Please, 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 please. That's better. Soy milk! Feck off. If I was to find Libra in my item room, on the other hand, absolutely I would take soy milk. Absolutely. I should have used the bomb here to hope for a key. Are we really going to have to miss my item room? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Poop can't drop keys, right? Uh, that's really bad. I can't go in. Alright, we're missing our item room then. Down we go. At least we got nine lives. That is a start. We got small rocks, so let's just pretend in our item room we got a damage up. Can't open that. Can't open that. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. The I can't open that theme because we have no luck. Oh good, we have a bomb. Oh, you know what? Yeah, just all of you are... I'll turn you into poo. It's basically my version of turning things into candy that poo does. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> hey, we got a key! Alright, we'll go back to the item room. We're not missing that this time. You know what I should have done when I realised I wasn't going to get a key on that first floor? I should have just 
wasted the rest of my money on that slot machine even though it's very unlikely thanks to having no luck that I would get consistent payouts just for the chance at a key so I didn't miss an item room. That item room could have had anything. As far as space bar items go, the pinky sewers are really good. Better than the flush for absolute sure. That's going to guarantee us killing bosses for the next long time. So that's good. That makes up for missing an item room, almost. But we have had some pretty bad items as well, like caffeine pill and... What else do we have? The screw, which I, I honestly keep on thinking gives you a black heart, but it doesn't. It's a tears and shots speed, right? I don't rate it very highly either way. Oh, I didn't see him and it's a full heart because it's a bloody champion. Screw you forever. <laughs> no, no, we got the damage back. And we will go in the shop. The Bible and Pandora's box. Hmm. Well, we'll see how much money I can get first of all because I don't think it's going to be a lot and I might just buy a half price key or a bomb for the next stage. Or the next floor, I guess. Meh, wah, wah. They should get hit by those turrets. I don't care if that's not how it works. Thankfully, superior range pays off. Meh, wah, hit, indeed. Oi, serving spider. And the boss will probably be this way. Oh, good. Champions. Did I pick up champions, Bill? Why am I getting so many champions? We will all do full hearts of damage to me. It doesn't seem fair, really, does it? That would be an interesting, like, super hard mode. Every enemy is a champion. And you have the, the same hard mode thing. Oh, I want that. Yeah, I'll waste a bomb for that. Well, it's not even wasting a bomb. I'm spending a bomb for Cancer Trinket. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, a hard, a super hard mode where every enemy is a champion, but they have the same thing that hard mode does where even though they're a champion, they don't have a guarantee of dropping a drop. Right, let the body get the taste of pestilence and he will go down super quick. We'll get ball of bandages, which is fine. Curse room. Because we're on our way to becoming guppy, thanks to nine lives, and I would love to throw lives away. Thanks, by the way, for not giving me a deal with the devil game. I'll go in the curse room. I am expecting to, to lose a few more lives this run, maybe even all of them, who knows. That would keep my Eden runs on par if I had a loss this time because it would be two wins, two losses. As far as starts go, this obviously isn't as good as the last time or that very first run. Stat-wise, actually, it might be the best start we've had, just item-wise, not so much. Oh, right, the shop. Right, yeah, I totally forgot. We will take our key for the next floor, thanks, because... <laughs> We make our own luck when the game gives us no luck. Down we go. No deal with the devil, by the way. Utter bullshit. Definitely deserved one. But whatever. And I already took from one as well. So the presidents should be there. But no. Curse of the blind. Ugh. Well, we've already seen Soymog. Hopefully it won't reappear. I wonder how this run would have turned out if I'd taken soy milk. Is there Libra hiding somewhere in this seed? If there is, soy milk becomes like the best item ever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I wasn't worried. Were you worried? Kill the bat! Yeah! Teamwork! Thank you for the key. Now give me my item room. One key and a bomb for all this. Yeah. I'm in that kind of mood. Don't be Bob's brain. Alright, I am so glad I did that. Let's see you screw me out of a deal with the devil now, game. Actually, I shouldn't say that because it could decide to give me deals with Angel. Please don't do that, game. I I take back what I said. I didn't mean it. Let's be friends, etc. Ooh. Despite having crappy luck, we're getting occasionally really good payouts from chests. Nope. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm crying as well. Crying on the inside. As most British people do. Because we are emotionless husks. That's not true. Well, it's it's largely, largely true, but don't tell anyone. Or else we'll get neutral about it. I'm surprised that hit me, but I forgot it was a lock-on shot. So, oh, we found our boss, item room and shop all next to each other. That is uncommon. And I've put myself in. We've only got the one key. We don't. Well, we do need to shop though. Another key? Fantastic. 
Hey, room first. Celtic Cross. That's okay. And the shop is greed. Well, that sets us up for another floor, I guess. That's the nice way to think of things. Don't spawn anything. Oi, you spawn stuff, and I distinctly remember telling you not to spawn stuff. It's not playing well for you. Alright, we got our key back as well, so all we got in there was a bunch of profit. That's good. The hollow is not going to be an issue. Look at that little body go when it gets a flavour for him. <laughs> Holy shit. And we're guaranteed to deal with the devil, and I'd happily throw away a lot. Alright. Ah, we're only going to throw away one thing. But it's for dark bums, so all is forgiven. Excellent. Do I hold on to the telepills? I think I do. We had all our special rooms, so... Alright, let's go. Yeah, there could have been a curse room, that is true, but since I have that telepill, I wouldn't mind grabbing a free item out of boss rush, so that was what I was thinking there. Our damage is actually pretty good, largely because of the ridiculous fire rate though, not the tier by tier damage. I'm going to keep the timer up actually, I've got six minutes to do this floor and the next. Oh right, can't fly or anything. <laughs> Don't know why I thought I could. The game hasn't been that nice to us. And you're going to explode. Never mind. Dark bomb, come on. Can you not devour faster? I'm on a bit of a timer here. I mean, literally, I'm on a timer. Oh. Yeah, we'll just do, use that now. We definitely want to shop, shop in our shops now. Yeah, I did this. Why did I do this? Because it was red chest and I want gup items. And it's not bosses, so in theory, I should kill them quicker. Although, now that it's these guys... I'm beginning to believe that's not actually the case. I miss having penetrative shots. Why couldn't I have Death Touch? You hear me, game? I want Death Touch. I want to fire size at my goddamn eyes. Ugh. I'm so tempted to just teleport out, but I don't want to fight Boss Rush. I, I want a free item from it, but I don't want to fight it. Oh, I could have let one of the hands grab me. It cost me damage, though. One more wave. Ugh, these guys. Oh, creep. I always forget the creep they leave behind. Always. Luckily, I didn't get hit by it. Alright, it was worth it for the key, you know, so... I don't want to use... My, I do want to use my only bomb. It could be there. Screw me. Not using the two keys I have on that. Ah, there's a curse room. Come on, spawn faster. Come on, bye. Come on, quick. Oh, well that saves me a little bit of time now, doesn't it? Oh, that's annoying. There's a lot of good stuff here and I can only take one. Contract from below is so good, but Little Brimstone is so bare. We'd love to get some HP somehow on the floor to go back and get something else when we're done on the floor, but... We'll make do with what we have, and we have a lot of good stuff now. Dead end, annoyingly. I bet I have to go through that big room and I've been ignoring it. Oh, Kelty Cross, thank you. Not the Polaroid, because we haven't had it yet. Darbomb, quick, 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 quick. Thanks. Found our boss, but we need to find our item room. Shit. I've already missed one item room this run. I'm not going to miss another one. Plus, it's, I think it's a false economy to say, oh, I'll skip an item room here so I can get a free item out of Boss Rush. You're still down one item. Although, you could argue the choice you get in Boss Rush is more valuable. Keep in mind though, because we have this teleport pill, oh I instantly regret my decision. Because we have this teleport pill, I don't need to worry about clearing the entirety of the next floor before going into boss rush, because I will get out of the boss fight. That was close. So, we've got another key. I mean, if we don't get it, it's fine. Totally fine. Dark bomb, quick, quick. Nom faster, you little shit. Oh, son of a bitch. I think it was half that heart I just got, but I'm hurrying, so what do you expect? Oh, I need my shop as well, considering all the cash I have. Oh, come on. Now, I know it's an Acropolis floor, but this is just taking the piss at this point. Thank goodness for superior fire rates. Oop, you're invincible. You're not invincible. There's Homer. There's Homer. Will you just die, please? <laughs> I... Uh, ooh, 
we'll still create it. We'll get a free item if we find a shop. And we better bloody find a shop. I'm not stroking out and I've actually already found it, right? No, I haven't. This is just an irritating floor layout where the shop and item room. I totally forgot about the little brimstone also. Are on the far end of the stage. That's annoying. I will obviously go back for the... Oh. I'm so glad I came over here and didn't just go down to the next floor. The relic for free is astonishing. All those keys as well. Jesus. So good. Oh, Dark Bomb needs that, but still. Oh, Chubb, why would you be guarding the last two rooms I need? It's an irritating version of you as well. That spawns the near invisible nubs. Yeah, this is my... Oh, I got penned in. My damage without the fire rate from Cancer Trinket. It's not good. If I don't spawn close to the boss on the next floor, I've missed my chance. Ah. We'll take Black Candle for free, absolutely. We'll take the... That, we'll take that. We'll take that. I broke after... Oh, oh, oh you are... Hmm. Tire bomb, hurry up. Can I do the entirety of the next floor in under one minute without an Emperor card? No, that's, that's probably literally impossible. Even if I found an Emperor card, I'd be missing too much to warrant doing it. That said, I can't help but leave the timer up thinking I'm going to do this, actually. Fate? Yeah. Oh, we haven't even killed the boss. No, we've not done it. We've no chance in hell. That is a great shame. I will hold on to the telepills, though, because it could have value. Or you're dead. Also, again, irritating I didn't get famine on the first floor because apparently we're in a mood for horsemen again. I still don't have enough HP. Oh, hang on, these will be three spur hard deals, right? No, they don't change. Damn it. Would have loved contract from below. C'est la vie. Have we missed boss rush? Look at that, I'm going to just sit here and let it tick away. And it's gone. Alright, we'll go in here. Interesting. So I could use a bomb for a key here. And now I can use the pinking shears in a big room stay to clear it with ease. You know what, I will. Even though I already got hit. And I think it was a full heart because it was a champion. I don't think I've ever seen this room before. I'd love to blow up some of those skulls, but without the ability to fly, no chance. It's also a shame that Deal with the Devil didn't have any guppy items in it. Little Brimstone is great, as long as I keep remembering I have it. Mmm, yes, yeah. Alright, a bomb and a key for three keys and a penny. Excellent deal. Fish head, no thank you. Occasional flies is fine, but cancer drink it, much better. Poke your head up. Poke your goddamn head up. So Marble desires his item room and shop. Oh, thank you, Relic. Actually, I don't want any red HP now. This is the final floor with an item room. It's second last deal with the devil that will have stuff in it. No, I'm, I'm fine with it being Spirit Heart deals. We have more than one way to generate Spirit Heart. So, yeah, bring it on. Piggy bank. When I can't donate anything else, that's just crappy. Our item rooms in general have been pretty shit this entire run. That was very silly what I just did. Absolutely take Broken Watch. And because I can't donate anymore, I guess we'll just go spend crazy on the rest of the stuff. Alright. Look at that fire rate. I suspect this isn't the way to the boss, but we'll have a look anyway. Oh, actually, it could well be. Oh, Jera. Passage. It can sometimes be a crawl space. Like now, for instance. First time I've had that happen with the Nawaz rune, and it's actually one of those proper market bits. Oh, no, I do wish I had red HP because they're all going to be, yeah, three spirit hearts. Right, well, hang on. First things first, I'll get him to pay out, although he'll pay out with... If he pays out with HP, it doesn't change these deals, as far as I'm aware. Let's see if that happens, first of all, though. Tower card could be big. It's not as it turns out, but whatever. I'll go outside, use the sun card so I know where the secret room is, and then come back. Are you seriously not going to do your proper payout? You shit. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm thinking that I take boss key for sure because it's just so good. But let me just go use this sun card. This stays open, right? It better. There is a curse room. No way, no. No, there's not. Alright, so we'll go back down. I will spend three hearts on boss key. Or mom's key, whatever the hell it's called. You know, the boss key from Zelda. We'll take that and we'll just murder these two because they didn't pay out. As far as other stuff there goes... Oh, we just got a ton of cash there. BFF is great. Do I want to risk it though? Yeah, why not? Just go balls to the wall crazy. We have the relic. We have little uh, dark bum. We have the means by which to get a lot of spirit hearts. Right, so we want to backtrack and go into the secret room for sure. And there is a boss trap room. I'll go up, I'll fight my way up to the boss trap room just to see what's there. And it gives us a chance to maybe get some spirit hearts from the relic. Now that I've spent six of my HP. Okay, super greed. If you give me the quarter, I'm going to hate you forever. Plot twist. I already hated him. Oh well. Let's go see what's in the boss trap room. Probably nothing but garbage. That was close. I left a battery up there, but nothing else. Could also be some tinted rock, actually. Oh, right, we didn't come this way at all. Right, yeah. Please bang creep. <sighs> Nearly sniped me. And that's another telebow. Thank you. See you, Loki. And we'll grab that other telepole now. In fact, there's another one, right? Because there was one in the room. So I might as well just try for I am error. Hematomesis, there you go, Darbrum. Thank you. Alright, we made it back to... I, I do want to run back for that telepole. Why did I make that the first time but didn't make it that time? <sighs> Game design. Anyway... I am going back for the telepills. It's now cost us a spirit heart, irritatingly. Because I think it might come in handy. We're going to start taking double damage after this floor, so if I can teleport out of a curse room instead of taking damage on the way out, that's a good thing. In theory. What do we get in our item room on this floor again? Oh, it was bloody piggy bank. Yeah, ugh. Oh, right. I forgot we hadn't cleared this room. <laughs> Mom should not be a problem. Thank you, Relic. Especially because she's slowed. Look at that body going apeshit on it. Also, it's bigger, actually. It's affected by BFF. That was super quick. I haven't fought Krampus yet, right? And we're still not gonna. That'll be the next floor. Uh-huh. So that is a Hematomesis build. Great. I'll just let Dark Bomb get some hearts. And this one we don't know. Tears down sucks. Means we're relying on Little Brimstone even more now. Any Tinted drops in here? Nope. Down we go. To see what awaits us on Utero 1. Irritating. Our fire rate is still fantastic, but everything else is a little bad. Well, no, our damage was never bad, it's just now it's behind the curve, I think. A little bit. Two bombs is helpful, though. Looking for a quick boss, ideally. There you go, Dark Bum. You, you've been doing really well with the Spirit Heart payouts. I haven't had one spider enemy or ally yet. I probably just jinxed it, I'm aware of that, but... I don't believe in jinx. Just, it's not a Pokemon I like. You relic? Hmm, no. That, I could use the teleport pill to get out of there if it's crappy. I'd rather risk a, like, three red chest room than that. Wow. Really good. The stopwatch is a fantastic pickup as well, the broken stopwatch. It does have the disadvantage of occasionally... Oh, library. Or other such room. Damn it. 
It does occasionally speed up rooms rather than slow them down, but that's really rare that it does that, although it can be painful depending on what you're fighting at the time. How to jump and a joker card and a moon card. We're guaranteed a deal with the devil on this floor, so I should definitely not use the joker card. We will use the moon to find out where the secret room is. It's a crappy one as it turns out. We'll blow it up. Oops. <laughs> we'll blow it up. Get our two bombs back anyway and now fight our way back up to the joker card and take that with us to the cathedral to get ourselves a deal we otherwise wouldn't get, although I would love to have much more spirit hearts by the time that happens. Otherwise it would be insane to trade away stuff unless it's for stuff I really need. Well, that's a good start, we're getting back to cap, that's what I need. Oh crap. Any tinted rocks? Hematomesis is a good help. Every Hematomesis spell I've used I think has only paid out with one red heart. It can pay out between one and four. I also don't know if I was heading the right way for the boss or maybe I'd teleported down to the right end. How to jump we obviously don't want. And my beam's better than your beam. Hey, I picked the right way. Nice. Second secret room is probably there. I should probably play this. Do you know what I should do? I should fight the boss, see what we get in the deal with the devil, then come back and play this a ton, hoping for spirit heart payouts. We already have a really, well, not even reasonably good trinket. We have a really good trinket. The only trinket this bit. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that gave us a full card. I could be really min maxi and. Oh, there's a mini boss on this floor. And go into the boss trap room, open the chest, and then teleport out. I'll do it! I don't feel like I'm comfortable enough that I just want to... Well, actually, you know what? First, we probably should just see what we get in our boss. It'll probably be Krampus in the deal with the devil. It's Mama Gertie and we can't fly, so I want this to die real fast. And it did. So that is actually HP. I have to take a bet here. If it's Krampus in there, taking this is a really bad idea. If it's any kind of deal that doesn't cost a heart, it's a really bad idea. Ah, screw it. I'll risk it. It's going to be Krampus. Fuck me forever. <laughs> Why didn't I believe myself? I knew it was going to be Krampus because we haven't run into him yet. But there is a way out. Because we have that Joker card, we can get a deal with the devil we're not supposed to get in the cathedral. Um, Pinky Shears is definitely better than Krampus, he said. Same charge, but I think does more damage, to be honest. Yeah, so I screwed up a little bit by giving myself uh, an empty red heart container. And not being able to trade it away. Let's fight the mini-boss first, see who it is. I wouldn't mind getting a late virus. Mr. Mega would probably be better. Just don't be Envy or someone who wastes my time. Alright, Pride dies real fast and we'll get a tarot card. The Hanged Man. I may have been able to use that more effectively than just using it because I felt like it, but that's okay. Alright, let's see what we get in here. Oh, two of spades, doubles our keys. Goodbye. Alright, we grab the Joker card that I left in the second secret room. We go down to the next floor, we clear the next floor, we go to the cathedral, we use the Joker card instantly. We get a deal with the devil that we're not supposed to get. And trade away that one red HP for anything. Brother Bobby, Sister Maggie, Missing Page 2, it doesn't matter. Also, if I was being... Was there a battery in the library? No, that was the other floor. I was going to say, I could have gotten another shard of crystal ball. We're getting a bit too min maxi at that point for compass effect plus random fortune teller payout. An arcade we can't do anything with. Well, that's not true. I could get red hearts to then trade the dark bomb. Hmm. Nah. Not worth fighting bosses for. Well, I, I can't say that. Oh wait, no, but we have boss keys, so it'll be a much better payout than normal. No, nah, maybe I should do it then. We're at full HP under. Yeah, I'm doing it. We're not trying to speedrun this shit. So we've got a golden key, so that might pay off for the rest of the floor, and a bit of money which is relevant, and some other keys. If we get Guppy's tail on that final deal with the devil we can manipulate ourselves into getting, this would pay off fantastically at the end. Also, I forgot. Hey, Loki. 
Sorry, I, had, I was thinking things through. My, my cunning plan to make this a guaranteed win eventually. Alright. So if I get hit, there's that spare spare heart. Let's go this way. I don't know why I suddenly felt like this is the right way, but I had a good feeling. Well, I found the curse room. Am I going to go into the curse room? There's a spare heart on the floor. I'm going to get some more payouts from Dark Bomb and the Relic, so absolutely, even though it's going to cost two spare hearts. I will do this. And we got Gimpy for free. That's good. Really wish it was a guppy item, particularly guppy's tail. But that's fine. I won't run back for the spare heart right now. I know it's there. I'm tempted to use pinky shears just to make this room go faster, but it's only two dingles. And now it's one dingle. Is there any tinted rocks? I really should kill it first before I look for tinted rocks, but I can't help myself. When a fight goes on a bit too long, I find my eyes wandering around the room just thinking, tinted rock, tinted rock. There's another spirit heart right there. Let's try north. Yeah. Hey, I killed that one. I'm not supposed to be able to. Money equals power would be a last minute interesting find in the chest, that's for sure. Got nothing else to do with the damn money I've got. Hermit is just a teleport at this point. Maya agrees. Alright. This seems like it might be the right way. Yeah, yourself. Little brimstone's aim sometimes, though. <laughs> Alright, don't need to go back unless I get hurt. Oh look, it's the same room again! That is uncommon for you to get the exact same room. Sometimes you get similar variants of the same room, but the exact same one is pretty damn rare. Alright, we're gonna fight It Lives, and It Lives is gonna die. Oh! You went up early because of the damage, I assume. Oh wait, no, because of the lack of damage. The eyes were still alive. We got stopwatch for this room. It's gonna be a pushover. Body, find body. Get in there. Alright, maybe it's not going to be, unless the body... There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Nice. I'm going to be lazy and not run back for that spare heart. If I die because I didn't have one more HP, then I deserve it. No question about it. Joker card. Uh, excuse me? I have a red health. Why is this not a red deal? Is it because the heart's not full? I did not know that was a thing. Huh. Alright, well, I'll take the nail for three because we're getting it for free technically. I don't know why I'm bothering. We're going to get the same payout. Still going to be one heart shy and we still have one empty red container. Yeah, I did not know that. So you have to make sure the container is full, otherwise the game will give you spirit heart deals. Hmm. Payout over here, buddy. Allied Spider. Alright, that's his first non-Spirit Heart payout of any type. So that sucks, we didn't get a Gup item and we... Well, we didn't get any value out of that Joker card, did we? Uh, we're still getting Polaroid when I get hit though, because uh, the Heart container is empty. So we're not really missing out, as long as I don't accidentally pick up a Red Heart. And thanks to Dark Bomb, that's harder to do than usual. As long as he kind of zones in on them before I do. But yeah, that was just bad luck. And I learned something that I'll probably forget until it happens again. If you have red containers and you want a red heart deal, do not go in without them. Well, if you only have the one, maybe it applies. Make sure you've at least got a half heart, otherwise you're getting spirit hearts. Deals, anyway. Isaac might be a bit of a... irritant. Maybe there's this back to cap. Oh, dead end. Oh, I walked over. Oh, it's only half heart. It's only half heart, but I walked over. Right, we're still getting Polaroid because I'm on a half heart. And we made back what we lost there. Was that a... No. Sadly, Isaac is not in that direction. Don't be the room with the Black Death. Not the plague from the Victorian era. I mean, like, the champion version of death is black. And spawns, like, much worse enemies and... 
is generally a pain in the arse. Two more? Nope, one more. Luckily, Brimstone is Spectral. Or it has the same effect as Spectral, I guess. You shoot over stuff. No! God damn it! Alright, now it sucks that I didn't have a Red Heart deal. I just saw the bombs and thought, I'll run after those bombs! I didn't even pay attention to what else was on the floor. Son of a bitch. We still have the chance of Celtic Cross kicking in when I take damage, but we're not going to have guaranteed 3-4 seconds, however long it is, of invincibility every time I'm hit. But we have so many Spirit Heart genera generating on the floor that I don't think it's going to matter. It shouldn't. Also, thanks to that, if I find a curse room, I can teleport out of it. So that's handy. And we have a good boss killing item still. The Pinky Shears will see us through Isaac and Blue Baby, assuming I can get them to, you know, kind of lock on to them. This room is sometimes a pain, depending on your setup. Thankfully, that is not the case for us. Alright, there's a spare spare heart. Good. Oh, we found a boss. I'm not going to do this. Let's just fight. Yeah, Isaac. Now we fight. We are enemies now. Straight to second form, thanks to the Pinky Shears being absolutely amazing. Oh, now they've lost their target, though. Go on, look, get back to him. Get back to him. Get his scent. Smell him. Damn. There. Yeah, I got him. Oh, I got hit. That's annoying. But Isaac's dead, so no, no. And I don't need to backtrack because we've got a spare heart there. Oh, no, I missed a penny. Now watch there be money equals power and I'll hate myself for missing that one penny that could have saved me. What do we get? Attack fly. Bottle of pills. Book of secret. And this is a piss poor. <laughs> Luckily we didn't need the chest to save us because this is just an awful selection. Although look at the gigantic holy water. A purity pill, thanks so much. So what's our floor layout look like? I assume the blue baby is all the way to the south. I'm just going to teleport and see where it sticks us. It put us right outside him, and I was exactly correct about where he was. That's unbelievable. We're just going to go for it. I don't have Guppy's tail, so we're going to get crappy pairs of chests here. Might as well just win. And it is going to be a win. Oh, we don't have a Pinking Shears charge, though. Hmm. All right, I'll fight until I get a charge of that, because I want to see how much damage it does to Blue Baby. It's going to be a lot. And war is the more annoying of the two here, for sure. Off your horse, thank you. Oh, I'm pending. Thank you, Gimby. Oh. Three more rooms, including this one, I mean. This is probably the most comfortable run I've had in a while where I haven't got stupidly good damage. If you take away little brimstone, I don't have much damage at all, and yet we're still pretty comfortable thanks to fire rate. So I'd say that's what carried us, starting with a really good fire rate, and that start was bloody nerve-wracking. We're down to half a heart for, what, two floors? One more room? Um, what hit me as soon as I walked into the room there exactly? I'm pretty sure that's a glitch! Lust doesn't fire at you. Whatever. Mr. Boom. Uh, we'll use him to find a secret room there, maybe. Nope, who cares. We are going to go win now. We only got the one guppy item, after all. Guppy item, not guppy, or whatever the hell I just said. Pinky Shears, do your worst. I didn't actually mean to walk into him, but whatever. We can just now kind of tank him because we've got Kelty Cross. Maybe we can tank him anyway. If you enjoyed, please do consider leaving a like and come back again later tonight or tomorrow for daily gaming stuff. My name has been Flick. Thank you once again for watching. Stay tuned for another Eden run next time. And ta-ta for now.